Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to morning prayer this morning. Thank you for joining me. I pray that we can know God's love for us this morning to encourage us in our day to day. I began to speak last week in my morning prayers about how we can have a rhythm of prayer in our lives, not only for while we're not meeting in church, but also for the days of the week between Sundays when we are meeting in church again. I spoke about the possibility of using um, a daily prayer app from the Church of England, two of them available, or also using um, a book of daily readings or daily light to help us each day. Before we pray this morning, I'd like to talk briefly today about where and when we might pray. Sometimes I think um, prayer should be like the meals we eat each day, should be part of our daily routine that we know we need to give us strength for each day. Just like we have a routine about when we eat, we can have a routine about when we pray as well. Just as the times and places may vary from day to day when we eat, depending on what's going on, but we're not likely to forget to have our meals in the day. So we might have to vary sometimes when we pray, but we'll not neglect to do it for a whole day. For me, my time of prayer is this time, 9am in the morning before I start work. I'd either go to the church before we were in lockdown or I'd pray here at home, but always at the start of the day before I started work. To help me do this, I have a particular place in the house where I go to pray, which is the chair behind me. That one over there. That's the prayer. That's the chair where I go to um, to pray each day. That's my prayer chair, as it were. So it's helpful for me to have a place where I know that that's my prayer space so that I can go there and start praying. That helps me in my routine. Then the second time I pray is last thing at night before bed, which is when Rachel and I pray together. So I'd encourage you to think about where in your house and when in your day you can have your routine of prayer. And it's great that some of you have found this time, 9am on Facebook each day, a good time to join us to pray. And I hope that as we pray this morning, we can connect with God's love, which is there for us each and every day. I'm going to pray this morning using the Church of England's daily, daily prayer app today. So as we come before God, let's take a moment of stillness as we come to the opening prayers. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. For our first reading from the Bible today, I'll read Psalm 126. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream, then was our mouth filled with laughter, and our tongue with songs of joy. 
Then said they among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has indeed done great things for us. And therefore we rejoiced. Restore again our fortunes, O Lord, as the riverbeds of the desert, those who sow in tears, shall reap with songs of joy, those who go out weeping bearing seed, will come back again with shouts of joy bearing the sheaves with them. Amen. God's word to us in Psalm 126. Seems the nation of Israel, when this psalmist was writing, was in a time of trouble. So the psalmist looks back to a time in the past where they've been in trouble, but the Lord has come through for them and restored their fortunes. So maybe we today, when we're in this time of trouble of coronavirus, can look back to those times in our lives when the Lord has come through for us, when we've had a time of sadness that the Lord has brought us through, when we've had a time of difficulty that the Lord has brought us through, to assure us that God will also bring, through our, bring us through our current difficulty, whatever that is for us today. Lord God, I pray for those who go out with weeping, who are sowing in tears today. We pray, Lord, that those seeds which are planted in faith will return sheaves of joy. Lord God, I pray for those for whom the fields feel barren and empty at the moment. Pray, Lord, for the green shoots of recovery to spring up and that they will grow into a bountiful harvest of joy for us. Restore again our fortunes, O Lord, as the riverbeds of the desert. Amen. Our second reading from the New Testament now, the Gospel of Luke chapter 6 beginning at verse 39, some parables from Jesus. Can a blind person guide a blind person, or will not both fall into a pit? A disciple is not above the teacher, but everyone who is fully qualified will be like the teacher. Why do you see the speck in your neighbour's eye, but do not notice the log in your own eye? Or how can you say to your neighbour, friend, let me take out the speck in your eye, when you yourself do not see the log in your own eye? You hypocrite, first take out the log of your own eye, then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your neighbour's eye. No good tree bears bad fruit, nor again does a bad tree bear good fruit, for each tree is known by its own fruit. Figs are not gathered from thorns, nor are grapes picked from a bramble bush. The good person, out of the good treasure of the heart, produces good, and the evil person out of evil treasure produces evil. For it is out of the abundance of the heart that the mouth speaks. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not do what I tell you? I will show you what someone is like who comes to me, hears my words, and acts on them. The one is like a man building a house, who dug deeply, 
and laid the foundation on rock. When a flood arose, the river burst against that house, but could not shake it, because it had been well built. But the one who hears and does not act is like a man who built a house on the ground without a foundation. When the river burst against it, immediately it fell, and great was the ruin of that house. Amen. God's word to us from the Gospel of Luke. I'm sure many of you might know that song from Sunday school. The wise man built his house upon the rock. And you will have noticed that this parable recalls that song. We're certainly in a time of flood at the moment, aren't we? We're in a time of difficulty. The flood waters crashing against us. So let's remember the meaning of that parable and the meaning of that song that we perhaps sung in Sunday school or in primary school. That we need to build our lives on the firm foundation of God's love for us. So that when times of flood like this come, when the flood waters crash against us, we will stand firm on the rock that is our faith in God. Let's pray now the prayers that come to our hearts having read this reading. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your love for us. We pray that we will build our lives on faith in your love. We pray, Lord, that at this time that the floodwaters are against us. We pray, Lord, that our faith will help us to stand firm and that you will give us new and fresh and strong faith to face each day. Father, we pray for all of us, your church, who believe in you. We pray, Lord, that we will be known for our good fruit rather than for evil. Father, at this time when great wisdom is needed, we pray that we may not be hypocrites, pointing out the speck in the eye of others while having a log in our own. Lord God, if there is a log that we need to take out of our eye today, we pray that you will show us what that is. If there is something that we are doing wrong, we pray that you will show us what that is. We pray that we'll be able to remove that log, Lord, so that we can see clearly what we need to do each day. Lord God, we lift up before you today those who are in particular in need or difficulty today. We pray for all suffering with coronavirus, for all who work in hospitals and care homes. We pray for any who are ill or bereaved at this time and are missing more than most of us the support of their friends and family during this time of isolation. Father, we pray that you would come to all of these ones by your Holy Spirit and give them hope, peace and comfort and strength to face this day and every day. We pray, Lord, for ourselves that we may be givers of hope, joy and peace in our lives today among the people we meet, the people we can contact and the people who we live alongside. In your name we pray. Amen. Let's join together in the words of the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. 
forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. Thanks so much as always to you for joining us this morning or whenever you're watching Daily Prayer today. Do give us a comment or a like so that we know that you've been here and we can be encouraged by your presence. God bless you today. I pray that you may know his love and that his love will carry you through today. May the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with us all and remain with us always. Amen. <laughs>